Okay, now speaking of science, I know you are a good job every day in the fuck I know it was for my boarding school, but I am joined by someone who totally loves science and the diversity of it. I am joined by Matthew, and you took part in the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, right? Yes, Welcome to Hectic. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, now before we get into why you love science so much and also what did you experience at the Expo, what can I expect, someone who has never attended a science expo before, what can I expect when I go to one? Well, you can expect amazing projects because it's all students from through throughout Cape Town, just the okay. regional expos, and it's just how they did their projects, why they did their projects, and what applications they have. Okay. And then how did you, like, was it like a chosen thing? Did they chose you guys to come to the expo, or do you apply in order for you to attend it? Well, how my school does it is you have to do the, a project in grade 10, uh -huh. and then from that they do a little expo at school, and then from that you're chosen to okay. go to regionals. Matthew, why the love for science though? Why is it not English or Afrikaans? Why science? I love science because I love how everything connects to one another. Okay. So it's not just an individual thing. So just with the expo, it's from agricultural all the way to psycho uh, social and psychological sciences. Okay, so it's not just like the normal science, you know, the chemicals and whatever. No, it's not just physics and chemistry. It uh -huh. goes much deeper, which is I love. Okay, and then that's where your project comes in. Please yeah. take me through this incredible project that you have. My project is how teenagers learn in school. So it uh -huh. was to see if paper or digital devices are better in schools to see how people learn. Okay, and how does it work? It works by people read um, words to see how fast they can read on each medium. Mm -hmm. And then they do a comprehension to see how much they have that they retained. And that is the basics version. And then you also received a gold medal yes. for your project. So big ups to that. How did they distinguish? How does it like, what does, what of your project or what, in your project, what does it make for you to actually get a gold medal? Are there any criteria you yeah. have to actually have in your project? The criteria is mostly it's originality. So it's okay. how I um, originally, and then your, how your method is, your scientific method. So, wow. so if you don't like, copy someone else yeah, yeah, yeah. so you should get a good one and i'm sure matthew it took you a long time to do this or am i just yeah it took me oh, just for the first one it was about five months okay. and then just to get it to an international level which i went to is yeah. about a year's work wow okay so you know what matthew i can you proof so you can test it on me today so yeah. what do i have to do you have to read some words on each medium and then okay. i'll time you and then the comprehension you're going to read and we're going to mark you on okay so you have the words with you right yeah, I have. okay so while i read it guys Let's see if Danilo think that this project will work. Hectic. Screen cancerous, tropical, stopwatch, mechanical, automotive, often done. Okay. Okay, so how do you, so you're gonna calculate my scores and how do you do that? Um, so you take how, just for the reading test, it's 60 words that's there, divided okay. by the time t you took and then times by 60, get the, the amount of words per minute. Okay, and then would you say I am more digitally inclined or paper inclined? Um, actually, you're pretty much equal. I think you have like one word out of each. So I've got the best of both words, but what would you say? Yeah, so you've got a choice of whichever one you want. <laughs> best of both words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Matthew, what's next for you? Are there any other projects that you'd like to actually pursue within science? Um, I'm actually going to continue with this project. I'm okay. trying to do a standardized test to make sure how students should be learning. So you can be an audiovisual learner or a tactical learner. Uh -huh. So what I'm trying to do is see if you'd pay for digitally inclined and thus improving our marks without having to study longer. Wow, well Matthew, thank you so much for joining us and I really, really salute the, the work that you're doing. I really love the project because by, by this project as well, people are really enjoying reading and encourages youngsters to read some more. Now one thing I really love to read definitely has to be comics and danilo has got the lowdown on that. Planets Earth and outer space, dinosaurs, the human race, double helix DNA, UV light and gamma ray, algebra and calculus, Einstein and Pythagoras, atom protein molecule, we can science.